Well, I don't know if I'm the best person, but the search committee and President Riley thought I was the right person at this time. Um, I've committed my entire career to higher education, and really my passion for institutions like UW Eau Claire came from my own undergraduate experience. Uh, like most students here, there's been a time somewhere in some classroom, probably a classroom, um, a faculty member said something, did something, or helped you discover something that created that sense of brightness, that light, that aha, that helped you connect uh, some particular academic discipline or a topic to something that fit for your life. And it's that experience of the student-faculty relationship, the relationships we have on our campuses. It could be a member of our grounds crew, it could be someone who works in the cafeteria, it could be someone that works in one of the offices supporting students. It's those moments, it's that experience uh, that, that happens to all of us at some point during our undergraduate career that made me want to make sure that future generations of college students had that opportunity. The entire time I was in, uh, an undergraduate, I was very active in student government. So advocacy was a big piece of that. So I spent time in St. Paul and in Washington, D.C., working to make sure that future generations of college students had as good or better education than I was having. And my passion around making sure that experience can be created was really what got me interested. Now, over the years, I've worked in Washington for Congressman Penny. I was vice president for student affairs for a number of years at a two-year college in Minnesota. And for the last uh, more than 14 years, I've been VP for university advancement and head of the foundation at Winona State University. Uh, over the course of my career, I've had a number of opportunities of bringing people together, helping to figure out how we can ensure that college students have that amazing opportunity. And I think uh, the search committee and President Riley at some point thought I might be the right fit at this time for UW Eau Claire. Well, I think the most important thing for a chancellor is to listen. So this first year, I need to learn Eau Claire. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest mistake that people in new leadership positions make is they can apply everything from what they had in their last position to the current one. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important to understand the territory. Um, it's a line out of Music Man. You've got to understand the territory if you want to work in it. So I need to understand University of uh, Wisconsin Eau Claire, the community, the culture, uh, what's important to students and faculty and staff. And so I think listening is the first thing. The second thing is to be able to see the future a little bit clearer. Uh, it's a little bit of a 50,000 foot view. It's to look for opportunity. How can we take the assets of the region of Eau Claire? How can we take our strengths, combine them with others to make sure, again, we're creating that opportunity for college students? And that's something I've had a track record with at Winona State University. A number of projects have come together. I think in part because I've had great people to work with and in part because I can see a little bit a little bit further into the future and see opportunity. Well, I've, uh, I'm famous at Winona State for saying we're smarter together than we are by ourselves. And what that means is I tend to be collaborative. I think that most good ideas can be improved. And I would tell you that the, some of the best ideas that I've worked on aren't mine. It's because I can hear ideas in other people and I'm able to somehow figure out how to piece together things. It's often around funding. Mm -hmm. So I try to listen carefully to find out uh, where are the passions of individuals around the university, uh, where, are the, where are the interests of potential donors, and where's the mission of the institution, and how can we put that together. So I would say that's one of my strengths. Well, my main vision is to build on the great work that's happened. I was attracted to Eau Claire in part because uh, I'm not that far away. And Eau Claire would be considered a competitor to Winona State University. And part of my job was to pay attention to what other schools were doing in our region. Eau Claire has always been on my radar. Uh, when people in Winona uh, would come up to me and say, hey, where should my son or daughter go to school? I would, of course, say Winona State. And they say, yeah, yeah, we love Winona State, but it's too close. We need to get them out of town. Um, I'm not joking. The number one place I'd list is Eau Claire. I'd say if you're looking for an institution like Winona State, Eau Claire is very similar. Um, but I was attracted to it because in many ways it's even better than the institution that I've cared so much about the last 15 years. 
Um, so my number one goal is to build on the strengths that are already here. How do we continue to be a distinctive player in the region? How do we make sure we can build on those great experiences that students have? We're just coming off uh, the student faculty research collaboration days, helping to make sure we've got those amazing experiences for the student. And some of those things can be done on a broad level, but some of it's very segmented and targeted, and it'll depend on the academic discipline of the student and where they're studying but we need to see where those opportunities are. So it's really about building on the great work that's been done before. Well, I hope to have met a great deal of, uh, a great deal of folks around the institution. Mm -hmm. I just met with some of the leaders of the student government, and I understand they don't meet very formally during the summer, but I will want to meet with some of the leadership that's around. I want to get around and meet a lot of the faculty, the staff, get out into the community, meet some of the community leaders, and figure out what some of their hopes and dreams are for this institution. Really, that first year, then particularly in that first 100 days, I'll be asking people to dream a little bit about Eau Claire. Given who we are, what we've done, what we've accomplished, where might we go? What are the aspirations for what the people of Eau Claire have? It's far more effective for me as, as chancellor to try to figure out how to, how to make other people's dreams come true rather than to have convince other people that my dreams are the right one to have. See if I can leverage the enthusiasm and excitement of the people who are here, I'll get far more done and the institution will be much better. There are a lot of great places it could go. What I'm going to be doing is listening to figure out what are the best possibilities, how best to move forward. So build on where we are and in that first 100 days have a much better sense of the institution, and then take another 200 days to really try to understand it. Well, one of the main challenges uh, that public higher education has faced is a decrease in funding. Um, uh, students for the last several decades have seen double-digit tuition increases, and more to the point, double-digit cuts from uh, from Madison and uh, that public disinvestment in public higher education is something that's very painful for me. I think the biggest challenge will be trying to work with policy leaders and it'll be over the next several years trying to build and make our case for why that investment in public education is so important. We need to stabilize the funding. We need to try to stop passing all those costs on to students. I think it's fair to ask students to pay for the quality of education, but I think it's important that the public see their value and what that is. Take a look at the graduates of UW-Eau Claire. We've got nurses, teachers, social workers, law enforcement. We've got biology majors, people that will start small businesses. Uh, we're not producing all of the world's Fortune 500 companies. So, you know, yes, we want our graduates to leave and achieve their goals, whether they be economic goals or career goals but they're not making millions of dollars. They're in there doing things that serve our society. These are people that are making a difference in their communities. Tell me about the elementary and high school teachers you had that touched your souls, that touched the lives of young children. Tell me about nurses that have taken care of your parents, grandparents, uncles, nieces, younger brothers or sisters. What impact are they having to society? I ask you and I ask others, is an investment in UW Eau Claire in its students, is it a private good, meaning the good only goes to the student that receives the education, or is it a public good? I think the answer is it's both. But the public needs to also make that investment. And we need to be accountable as leaders of the institution for how we steward those public dollars but we must continue to have that conversation. This is not just about ourselves. We're here to improve our world. We're here to improve society. I think that's why most people come to Eau Claire. Well, I've, some of the things that I've learned about is that commitment to community service. I just talked about how our graduates are improving the world. Uh, from what I've seen, the student and faculty commitment to community service and engagement has been so important. And I, I think that Eau Claire attracts a different kind of student. I think, you know, similar things tend to attract each other. I think if you look at other regional institutions, yes, they do some community service efforts, but from what I'm seeing here is that there's that sense of selflessness and service that differentiates us. I think, frankly, the commitment to a strong liberal education 
a transformative liberal education that makes a difference. Um, I think it's important that institutions like Eau Claire have professional programs. Nothing takes away from the College of Business, Education, or Nursing. Um, I have degrees myself from the College of Business and Education. My wife has a degree from the College of Nursing. So I think those professions are noble and are important. But I believe it needs to be underrooted with that strong liberal education, critical thinking, communication, both written and oral, ability to work with people, think creatively. Those are important pieces. I think Eau Claire has uniquely brought uh, that important base and then built on that uh, different career and other opportunities for students to advance. Well, I think that there are a number of areas that we need to continue to focus. I've taken a look at the campus master plan, and I think it's been very exciting to see the opening of the Davies Center and eventually the new College of Education building. I was pleased to see a couple of weeks ago we got approval in Madison to build a new student residence hall and to redo some of the road construction and the access around Garfield uh, Avenue, uh, help make that bridge safer and the, the approaches to that better. So I think that campus master plan shows a, a very well thought out vision for what needs to happen. Uh, the work around the Confluence project I think is very exciting. So I think there's some infrastructure things uh, that need to be addressed. I think frankly Eau Claire has been too long without some new building uh, projects and I think it's long overdue and I think there's some pent up demand. I think that we need to do a better job of telling our message, whether it's around the importance of public uh, education. Uh, there's some new energy around uh, taking a look at the brand of the university to help talk about really what is our message to our stakeholders, not only our students, but really reconnecting with our alums to say this is what you experienced, helping them to feel that pride, and hopefully they'll give a little bit back. What a great question, but I haven't been here long enough to really figure that out yet. I think Eau Claire has been a very well-managed institution, well-led. I think the chancellors that have been here have done a fantastic job. Clearly, there's a strong sense of shared governance among the faculty and staff and students, and there's that commitment to doing better. Um, there are always areas to improve on, and in, you've asked an important leadership question, and it's something I ask back on my home campus now, and it's on every agenda. What are we going to stop doing? Because we can't do everything. And there are new initiatives that need some addressing. So realistically, in a tight budget, in a tight environment, we will have to figure out what are some things we're going to stop doing. But I don't know what those answers are yet. Well, excellence is a, is a high standard. It means that you, you look for the best out of everyone. You look for the best in yourself. You constantly are working to improve. Um, even if we have the best of anything, right now we have the best hockey team in Division Three. But I'll bet if you talk to the coach and the players, they think they can get even better. So excellence means always striving to be the best that you possibly can be and bringing out the best in others. Well, that's a great question. Um, you know, I really, I think, I want to I want to personally look back and see that Eau Claire is a better institution than the one I had, you know, when I first got here. But that's mostly likely going to happen where other people look back and they say, it's a much better place and we did it. I'm hoping that people don't say, Jim Schmidt did this. Because if that's what happened, if that's what got improved, it won't be lasting. It'll only be lasting if the Eau Claire community, the people, the faculty, staff, and students really believed in it. Again, you know, I've got, I think I have some really good ideas, but the best ideas are going to be the ones that we all developed. And so I hope when I leave, people look back and say, wow, we did a lot while he was here, but it's we did a lot. It isn't I did a lot. I will tell you that I'm honored and a bit humbled uh, to be the next chancellor at UW Eau Claire. This is a fantastic institution. I would say directly to the students that you, you chose wisely. What a great place to go to school. And I want to open an invitation. Anyone sees me walking around the campus, please come up and introduce yourself. I'm interested in, 
and knowing more than just the Rachels of the campus. Um, I'm interested in knowing your personal stories, why you selected Eau Claire, what do you love about it, what, where can we improve? You folks are in the best position to help me understand uh, the great treasure that is Eau Claire and how we can make it better. So I look forward to meeting more of the students.